All right, Photoshop and pen pressure. Standard, what most people work with. Doesn't work. Your tablet has sensibility of your pressure, the rotation of your pen, the angle of your pen, a whole lot more than you would think. So, um, depending on the version of Photoshop you have, you can, uh, the, fo the brush tab will be somewhere else. If you just hit F5, it will take you to your brush settings. Um, I'm just going to give you the run-through of just the very basics of these. Um, you have brush tip shape. Um, if you're building a standard brush, you want to take that down to about 5%. Any lower computer might be a little slow, depending. Um, next would be shape dynamics. You can hit these tabs and it'll take you to this spot and give you the options. Um, you want to... Actually, these are both. Why are these? They should all be on zero. Except and then you turn your size jitter to pen pressure. Um, except for this one, this is the minimum minimum diameter. Um, that's really preference. I like to kind of keep it before it goes down to a point, just because it looks more natural. Um, the other one is just transfer. You hit transfer and you set both your opacity jitter to pen pressure and your flow jitter to pen pressure, and that will give you a much smoother more realistic um, look to your drawings and paintings. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, my standard brush, just a little bit, just a little bit more advanced. But uh, once you get the hang of it, just mess around with these dull brush uh, transfer, uh, smoothing. All these have different effects that they. I like to help out with different. I don't know texturing, whatever you want to do. Um, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.